Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Taurus. So it says you're going to work hard to, for, for something to find a way to bring your plans to completion with a rekindled love for the journey and worrying less about the end result. And we have a new opportunity in, in regards to career. A new opportunity comes. This is a new beginning that will challenge you to get out of your comfort zone and expand your horizons. No more playing small time to dream big. So you guys are going to be maybe switching jobs or careers or you're going to be working really hard to, to bring about some type of career change for yourself or to grow in your career. This may be a little bit, yeah, uncertainty, but what is this about? People may be playing mind games with you or leaving out information on purpose, which could lead to confusion, frustration, be smart and decide if it's worth playing back. What does this have to do with perseverance and career change? We have intuition and we have the empress. Your intuition is your superpower. You are harnessing your psychic abilities and learning to trust that inner voice to guide the, the decisions you make. And it says you're transforming into the empress. You will feel more confident, looking better, and realizing your own worth and standing up for what you deserve. No more settling for less. Huh. So, tie this together. <laughs> what is this? Why is this the message that's coming out for my collective at this time? We have justice. Circumstances are shifting in your favor. The scales are being balanced, and there will be justice for those who have wronged you in the past. Okay. Health. Expect to have a boost in your energy levels or an increase of healthy activities that will greatly improve your overall health as well as help you maintain a positive mindset. Tell me more. Signs. Your guides are trying to communicate with you. They are sending you signs and synchronicities. To, it could be through music, dreams, or number sequences. Pay attention. Didn't I just say something about dreams? Something. Pay attention to your dreams. You're getting some type of signs um, from your guides in your dreams in regards to what? an awakening you will find yourself waking up to a new, a new awareness and deeper consciousness that will transform your life and allow your beautiful light to emerge okay back in the day we have purpose there will there will be an urgent invitation to live your soul's journey receiving guiding messages to keep you on purpose and and answer the calling so that you can live and contribute soulfully leading to happiness huh so is this your energy? Because why am I feeling like it's not? What does this have to do with you? Acceptance. You're accepting situations and people for what they are, learning to let go of things that can no longer be fixed, and choosing to change to challenge yourself to grow. Okay. See, okay, here we go. I knew it. Flow. They're telling you you've let you've let go of your expectations and attachments to the idea of what you thought would make you happy and learning to get out of your own white way by embracing the flow of life. Yeah, you guys like gave something to the divine. You've just been going with the flow. You've been being patient. And like, you're just like, you know, I know that my season is coming. I know that it's, it's it'll be my turn soon to get what it is that, that I desire, what I truly desire. Well, there's been some stuff going on behind the scenes here. You guys may feel like things have been stagnant or slow, calm, not much going on, not much changing, not much happening. But Spirit says, though life may seem uneventful to you, it doesn't mean things aren't happening behind the scenes while you rest, trust, and surrender to the universe. So I feel like Spirit is saying that while you guys have been just going with the flow and like focusing on yourselves and just kind of just, somebody has been going through karma. Somebody's been going through karma for wronging you. Or things have been kind of being balanced out behind the scenes here. Somebody, what does career change mean for my collective? I feel like you guys have been leveling up. What does career change mean for my the past and new love? What? Your love life is about to take off. A new romantic offer, even several offers are coming your way. Don't let the past hold you back. Embrace the newness. A situation or someone from the past will return either to finish unfinished business or give you closure, you will have to decide if it's worth revisiting or leaving it in the past. So what's that do with career change? Soulmate. What? A soulmate connection is making its way to you. Keep your heart open and don't fear letting love in. Know that you are being, being divinely guided to be in each other's lives. So what does this have to do with money, though? Swiftness? Huh. It's almost like somebody has, like, had a change in... The way that somebody was bringing in their money or making their money has changed. 
and the way that they are bringing in their money now or whatever, something around money has changed and now it's outside of someone's comfort zone. But this was like a healthy choice to make. But it also has something to do with somebody coming back around to you. What is the what is the purpose of this reconciliation? A new birth. You're about to give birth to something new, your own business, a side hustle, a new approach to something, or perhaps a birth of a new baby. Whatever it is, enjoy your creation. So whatever this is that's coming in for you, you manifested this out of self-love. You started putting yourself first. You started giving yourself the love that you were giving to others or that you have been longing for somebody to give to you. You started giving it to yourself. And I feel like there's something like a miracle that's about to manifest here. I feel like it has, it's in regards to somebody that you have a past with that you accepted the, accepted them for who they were, the situation for what it is. You let it go. You start focusing on your own personal journey. And while you guys have been separated from this person, they've been going through a lot of changes. And I feel like they're going to come back. Tell me more about this person's um, in, intent. Goodness, I am having a hard time talking. Intentions is to have a victory with you. It's something that you guys wanted. You're finally getting something that, that's what I'm going to say. It's finally your time. It's finally your turn. You're finally getting something that you've been waiting for for a very long time. A raise, a promotion, finish the project, found the love of your life or leveled up. You should be proud. So, and we have jackpot, guys. And partnership. You and this person are about to come together. There's going to be a change in the money or career because you're about to like partner up with somebody or you're about to come together with somebody. And at last, you will feel like you have it all. Love, success, money, and feeling proud of yourself. You will finally achieve the everlasting happy ending you dreamed of. Wow. A new partnership is making its way into your life and will see the true potential and help see your true potential and help you reach it. This could turn into a very beneficial partnership and possibly even romantic. Why do I feel like this is how you guys felt about somebody? Did you guys see the potential in somebody that they couldn't see in themselves? I feel like that's what it was. Or maybe you guys saw the potential in your in each other that you guys couldn't see in yourselves. I don't know. But there's something about you and this person coming together that could be really positive. Talking about career change. Yeah, something about some type of positive career change. Or like somebody being able to get more rest, more sleep, having more energy because they have help. They, they're sharing the responsibility with somebody else. It's something like that. You're entering a period of happiness and leaving behind dark times. Leaving behind, leaving dark times behind you, taking steps into a new chapter where happiness begins and peace is restored. There's some type of gift here too. There's some type of talent or gift that the divine is guiding you to showcase or to like utilize. That will also be very healing for you. It will make you feel very free and at peace. Okay. See somebody here. Somebody's about to take a leap of faith. You guys, t I swear, like somebody is, mm, what about this change in direction? What does this mean for my collective? Completion. So it's almost like Spirit says the detour is over. They took you down a different path. And I feel like I've talked about this in my other collective readings. So there is some type of progress. Things are changing. Now I see that it's gotten to the point where Spirit says, yes, we did take you on a detour. But, you know, detours still lead to the same place. They still lead to the same outcome or the same path that you were on before. It's just taking you like a roundabout way, right? Spirit says the detour is over. They did take you down a different path away from this person or they took you guys down different paths away from each other for a time being. But that's coming to an end. Like, you know, usually if there's a detour, there's because there's some type of construction going on, right? So it's like you've been under construction. They've been under construction. Well, Spirit says the construction is over. The detours, there's no need for the detour anymore. And it says you'll reach some kind of completion or you're very close, leaving you feeling accomplished and happy. A new chapter will emerge and you'll once again start the next challenge. So it's time for you and somebody to come back together. Yeah. I still want to know like what career, some of you guys have maybe been feeling overwhelmed. Yeah, abundance. So Spirit says like the, the career change, 
could be like a new job where you're going to make more money, a better position at a job where you're going to make more money. It's something that's changing or you're going to be like, there's going to be another income coming into the picture, like a two income household. There's something like that. Your manifestations are about to start paying off abundantly. Some of you guys have been manifesting a two income household. You're going to get it. It looks like um, your manifestations are about to start paying off abundantly. You are long overdue for some great financial rewards and you are finally being rewarded. Yeah. And we have angelic help. Your angels are relieving you of your burdens. You'll notice you'll begin to feel lighter. Your worries and fears fading away and embracing your own inner breakthrough. Wow, this looks good. I know some of you guys are like, I don't want that person back. Well, for somebody, somebody's been wishing for this and it's coming in. Some of you guys may have been wishing for this at some point and then now you're like, I don't even want it anymore. <laughs> I don't even want it anymore. Let's see. What else do they need to know about this? Let's get some tarot out here. If the detour hasn't come to an end yet, it's very close to coming to an end or the awakening. And your dreams have been trying to show you this as well. So pay attention to your dreams. Like when you wake up in the morning and you still remember your dream, make sure you're like, you know, maybe writing it down. We have seven of cups. Tell me more. We have six of pentacles. You guys may have options though. There could be like an energy here of like you having more than one person that wants to be with you, but we'll see. We have manifesting you. Wants you back moving into alignment. Yeah, you and this person are getting into alignment with one another. Yep, yeah, we have justice here twice. Soul, yeah, Libra energy. Clarify the seven of cups. We have five of wands. There is some type of conflictedness over like choices, options, or just not seeing things clearly. Talk about the six of pentacles, the five of swords. Mm. This person, there's like, there's two different relationship dynamics here. There's like a very fair reciprocal balance relationship and then there's like a very toxic relationship we're full of mind games and betrayal betrayal i don't know we're going to get more clarity clarify manifesting you and our see there is conflict here why are they conflicted about this they want you back they're moving into a lot what's the internal conflict about king of pentacles so it could be this or this is you this is you that is conflicted about this earth sign, this Taurus Virgo or this Capricorn, or if you can take this person seriously, if they're going to be loyal, if they're going to be secure for you. What is, clarify internal conflict. We have page one. So maybe this person is going to be messaging you saying that they want you back and you guys are not going to know if you want to take this person back or not. I was already getting that when I heard like, I don't want that person back. I'm telling you. Somebody's going to be saying that they want to come together with you. They want something equal and balanced with you. And I think you guys are not going to know what to do. You're going to be really apprehensive about this. Tell me more. We have the full. Oh, so you guys could end up just taking a leap of faith. We have Aquarius energy. Tell me more. We have the emperor. Divine masculine energy. We have four wands. Look at this, guys. I'm telling you. This person has like morphed into the like morph. They have ascended or awakened into the divine masculine or the divine feminine. Like this person is looking like they're pretty. Look at this. King of Cups. How about this? We have, oh, hold up. We have rejection. Uh oh. What about rejection? Page of Pentacles. <sighs> Unawakened. They were, see, there's something here about like, this person does not have a good track record with you. They, they breadcrumbed you. They gave very little. They were unawakened. They were very egotistical and they were resisting the connection. So I think you guys, somebody needed to figure out what they wanted. Queen of Wands. What about the Queen of Wands? The Six of Swords? Uh-oh. Maybe they needed to make up their mind about whether or not they were ready to move away from somebody. Suffering in silence. And the Chariot. Cancer energy, seven of pentacles. They've been doing a lot of evaluating. You guys have both been healing. Um, so what about the two of wands? What's the two of wands mean for my collective? We have the sun and the karmic partner. See, you found out. 
yeah, you guys could have found out that this person had, I think something came to light here, that this person um, had another, had a karmic partner. Say about karmic partner in the sun. Leo energy is here. Something has changed. In what way? I think you've changed. Ace of Swords and Taming Hunger, Taming a Player. Yeah, I think this person is no longer wanting to in entertain karmic partners. Like, something has changed. This person has changed. So, what's this, what do they need to know about this? Anything else? Seven of Swords, though. And the Six of Cups. They were deceptive in the past. They did cheat or they were deceived. They, they did deceive you in the past. But, what about the Page of Swords? Or maybe you guys want this person to tell you about what they've done. Yeah, you want to know. You want this person to be honest with you about what they've done. Yeah, and we have, yeah, because they were very, like, sent you a lot of mixed signals, and you had to set boundaries with this person. Give me a few more. Yeah, Forbidden, and we have Eight of Wands. What about Forbidden, though? World. Yeah, I feel like this, this connection was, like, kind of, like, being blocked, or it just wasn't working out at some point, but that's changing. Or, or they're they're letting go of somebody here, and it's it's leading to hope for this connection. Yeah, what a catch. This person feels like you are their wish fulfillment. They have a fear of losing you. The Queen of Pentacles. What about the world, though? The Seven of Pentacles. What about the world? The Two of Swords. They're, they're, they were indecisive, or they couldn't make up their mind about who they wanted to be with. Yeah, but they've made a decision. that They're listening to their intuition, or they're listening to the divine guidance here. Yeah, it's, didn't I say it's time? It's time, guys. It's finally time. Look, magician, Aries, Virgo, Gemini energy, making things manifest what you want wants you. Somebody is cutting off a karmic tie. They've been doing the inner work. Yep, and you've waited a long time for this. But I'm telling you, somebody is ready to manifest something with you here. Fight for you. The separation was necessary, but now they're ready for the Ten of Pentacles with you. Long-lasting union, marriage, salt foundation. It's going to be dependent on whether or not you're going to be able to trust this person or let them back in. Let's see what else they have to say. But something about you and this person coming together that is going to like positively affect your finances or like you and this person coming together, you guys are going to make a lot of money together or you guys are going to start a business together. There's something about that. Or just like, obviously, if you combine finances with somebody, like it gets to that point, obviously that's always better. It's always good to have like a, an extra income. Like, if you guys are stressed out and you just, like, wish that you always weren't the only one paying the bills and the only one taking care of everything and the only one doing this, this, and that, I don't see that you will have to do that going forward in the future. Um, For whoever's reading this is, it's like, you will have help or you will be, like, a team with somebody. Like, you guys will be sharing the responsibilities or you will be sharing the bills or whatever, or you will be running the business together, whatever it is. You know, take out resonates. Um... Let's get let's get a few of these. So tell me what it's time for. It's time. It's your turn. That's what I keep hearing. Like it's your turn. It's your turn to get everything that you want. I feel like it's been a long time coming. We have unfounded fear. They are afraid to trust and get hurt. The illusion is keeping them locked in anxiety, unable to act upon their love. What's it time for? Building an empire. I'm telling you. I don't think it's with, because this card does say on it, they see how their focus on material things hasn't made them happy, but only holding them back from love. So now what? We have dealt a bad hand. They wish they met you at a different time because they feel they'll never get to see what the connection could have been. Tell me more. Endings. They entered your life to test you, teach you, and bring out the best in you. Now their part in your story is over. What does this mean for my collective? Family tree. What's this mean for my collective? Past life. We have foolish. This person feels stupid. They let your your differences keep keep you apart. Family, they let their family keep the two of you apart. When this person knew from the very first time they met you that you were special. 
they feel like like a fool for crossing the line and messing up the connection but too embarrassed to come forward so what's happening next battle of the wits so nobody's really making a move at the moment you guys are both kind of in this like stubborn or just like holding back type energy yeah there's 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 a lot going on behind the scenes there's more to this love story that you cannot see it now there's still much more to unfold they're about to come in and fight for you their inner warrior is being activated they're getting ready to fight for you and overcome their fears of love but you guys are in this energy of boundaries or you set boundaries and it made this person respect you more yeah, this person's leaving a situation. They're, they're finally, they're closing out a cycle. And it says, they love that you set strong boundaries for yourself and walk away from those who don't respect them, including them. So it's like you walked away from them and it made them respect you more. It made them want you more, really. It motivated them more. They did not expect this love to run this deep. They're putting their pride aside and taking that leap of faith and leaving a situation. They're leaving all that is familiar to them. That's them leaving their comfort zone. Now, with that career change card coming out, guys, I'm telling you, they are somebody is leaving a situation that was their when it comes to money or that it was their comfort zone. There was stability there. And I think that like maybe they that's it has something to do with money. So they could have been staying with somebody for financial reasons or you could have been doing this. Take it out. Resonates. But somebody is leaving some type of comfort zone associated with money. Somebody that they were living with, somebody that they were whatever family. But they're leaving this situation to, to start a brand new life with you. But this person knows and they feel very regretful. They are having a hard time forgiving themselves for treating you poorly, much less expecting you to forgive them. So they know that it's a good possibility that you won't forgive them. But it says dark night. They're experiencing massive upheaval to help them align with new levels of love with themselves and the connection. And we have resurrection. What you thought to be lost forever will come back and you'll witness the impossible made possible. So why were they... Um, why did they treat you the way that they did? Why did they treat you the way that they did? You have energy cores. Why did they treat you the way that they did? Breaking free. Divine. I don't know, guys. They always do that where they don't tell me like what, but they're just saying that like this person still feels you. Okay, so they treated you the way that they did because they thought you were too good to be true. It's like they didn't take you seriously. And now they're grieving the fact that they treated you that way because you're pulling away from them. Yeah, or they chose just to, they chose themselves. They chose to focus on themselves and make themselves the priority or their own needs um, the priority over trying to, you know, meet you in the middle, also making your needs a priority. Um, but all I can see is this person still feels you, even though you guys have been in separation. Um, they're definitely leaving something here. They're freeing themselves from their self-imposed prison and leaving behind all that kept them away from you. We all we are helping this connection evolve to see things as they really are and bring light to all that has been hidden. So I need one more. Where, I don't even know what I did with that deck. It's disappeared already. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there's awakening again showing itself. The awakening process has begun. They now hold a new understanding of love and understand a new understanding of love and recognize the connection. So they they, they pretty much they treated you the way that they did because this person just didn't feel good enough for you. They viewed you as an unknown. It scared them. It all stems from fear and ego. Yeah, this person feels like you're very abundant and you brought a lot of abundance or like positivity into their life, but they just didn't trust it. They literally thought that you were an illusion or that you were too good to be true. Um, so they definitely sabotage things with you. Things with you.